Diabetes is a disease that affects the lives of millions of Canadians. In this video, we'll go over what diabetes is, what organs it affects, and how it affects them, how it is diagnosed, detected, and causes of the disease, a nanotechnology that may be used to treat the disease, some treatments for it and some ways to prevent it, and the lifestyle changes to improve the quality of life. But first of all, what is diabetes? Diabetes is a disease where you have elevated blood sugar because the body doesn't produce or cannot produce enough insulin to meet the body's needs. Without insulin, the body can't break down glucose as it travels through the arteries. This results in a massive glucose buildup which causes elevated blood sugar and blood pressure. This happens because your immune system mistakenly attacks and kills the beta cells of insulin in the pancreas, which is why there is a lack of insulin in the body. When it comes to diabetes, there's two different types. There's type 1 and type 2 diabetes. They both essentially are the same thing besides a few differences. For type 1 diabetes, symptoms usually start during childhood or young adulthood. For type 2 diabetes, a person may not experience symptoms before diagnosis. It is usually diagnosed in adulthood. For type 1 diabetes, a person may experience episodes of low blood sugar commonly. And for type 2 diabetes, there are no episodes of low blood sugar unless the person is taking insulin or certain medicines. And unlike Diabetes affects several organs. For type 1 diabetes, it affects the heart and blood vessels, the eyes, the kidneys, and the nerves. It also affects the same organs for type 2 diabetes. But how are they affected? For the heart and blood vessels, it can increase the risk of cardiovascular problems. For nerve damage, excess sugar can injure the walls of the tiny blood vessels. This can cause tingling, numbness, burning, or pain. For kidneys, it damages the delicate filtering system of the kidney. Severe damage can lead to kidney failure or irreversible end-stage kidney disease, which requires dialysis or a transplant. For eyes, it damages the blood vessels of the retina, potentially leading to blindness. It increases the risk of vision conditions such as cataracts and glaucoma. Here are some of the symptoms for diabetes. These, these symptoms include unusual thirst, recurring infections, constant trips to the bathroom, blurred vision, numbness in the hands or feet, extreme weight gain or weight loss, lack of energy, cuts and bruises that take a long time to heal, and trouble getting an erection. How is diabetes diagnosed? If a person is experiencing any of these symptoms, you can go to your family doctor and undergo certain tests to find out if you have the disease. Some of these tests you can take for type 1 are the A1C test, a random blood sugar test, or a fasting blood sugar test. For type 2, you can also take an A1C test, a random blood sugar test, and the fasting blood test, but the only other one that's not part of type 1 is an oral glucose tolerance test. Here are some of the causes for diabetes. Your immune system, which normally fights bacteria, starts to destroy insulin. That causes producing cells in the pancreas, which leaves you with little to no insulin. Here are a few ways to prevent diabetes. For type 1 diabetes, you could prevent it with losing weight, exercising, or eating healthy. For type 2 diabetes, you can prevent it with taking insulin, and you can also take it with exercising and eating healthy. Here are some treatments for diabetes. The main goal for treating diabetes is to minimize any elevation of blood sugar. You can do this by maintaining a healthy diet, taking insulin if required, or any prescription pills. Nanotechnologies. A new nanotechnology is being created to help people with diabetes. This nanotechnology consists of particles that sense when a diabetic person's blood sugar levels are too low and then secretes a proper amount of insulin. 
How this technology works is by injecting the nanoparticles into the patient and then they do their job by creating insulin, thereby replacing the need for the pancreas and improving the patient's quality of life. Here are a few lifestyle changes that people with diabetes can do to improve the quality of their life. The first one is to get more exercise. You could also maintain a healthy diet. People with diabetes can try to eliminate stress in their life or reduce it. And you could try and lose weight. We hope you enjoyed our video on diabetes. Uh, we hope you learned something new. The, the end. end.